Next up, I want to draw the apple, which is going to look like this. In terms of logic, it's not that much new stuff. Like for the snake, the apple is going to be defined by one position, which is a vector with x and y. And around this point, we are going to draw a rectangle for now and later a graphic. I suppose the one challenge for this one is the random position. I suppose the one challenge for this bit might be the random position, but that's fairly easily implemented. Let's jump right in. Back in the code, the apple logic should be in a separate Python file. So I create a new tab and save it as apple.py. We will need from settings, import, everything. After that, I want to create a class called apple. No need for inheritance, but we will need a dunder init method, which for now is not going to need any arguments, but later on it will. Now, most importantly in there, we have to set self.position, which is just going to be a pygame.vector2. And these numbers are going to define where the apple is. Let's say for now, I want to put the apple at position 5 and 8. Completely random numbers, we'll change them in just a second anyway. Besides that, like we have done for the snake, we will need access to the display surface. That way we can draw the apple. Let me just copy it over. And now we can work on drawing the apple, which we can do in a separate draw method. This one doesn't need any arguments ever. All I really want to do is pygame.draw.rect once again with self.display surface. Then we can use a different color, let's say blue. And finally, the rectangle is going to be pygame.rect, for which we need left, top, width, and height. We have seen this one a couple of times by now. For the left, I want self.pos.x multiplied with the cell size. And I am running out of space, so let me cut out the entire line and save it in a separate variable, which I still want to use inside of the draw method. For the top size, I can basically copy all I have done for the left side, except this one should be .y. Finally, for width, I want cell size, and for height, I want cell size, and then we should see an apple somewhere on the window. For that though, we have to, inside of main.py, from apple, import the apple. After that, we have to create one instance of this apple, which I also want to store in an attribute, self.apple is going to be apple. And finally, in the run method. After we are drawing the snake, self.apple.draw. If I now run all of this, we are getting an error. Let's have a look. The error I made is that this should be rect instead of rext. Let's try main.py now, and this is looking much better. Now we can see a rectangle for the apple. However, we now have a minor issue, and that is that the position of the apple shouldn't be hard-coded, it should be random. And let me explain how I want to approach that. First of all, the apple has to have access to the snake. Because when we are creating a random position for the apple, we should never be able to land on the body of the snake. Which means when we set the position of the apple, the points for the snake should be excluded. For that, the apple needs to know where the snake is. As a consequence, when we are creating the apple, I want to give it the snake. Which we are also going to store in an attribute, self.snake is going to be the snake. Finally, when we are now creating the apple instance, we have to give it self.snake. That way, from within the apple, we can print self.snake.body, and if I now run main.py, from within the apple, we have access to the snake positions. And after that, we can create self.setPosition, so a new method, and this one is going to create a random position for the apple. This we have to create, define set position. No need for custom parameters. And now basically all we want to do, I want to create a new variable with the available positions. And this we're going to get via list comprehension. And at the end, I want to get self.pos and pick one random item from available positions. This we can do via the choice method which is part of the random module, which means to use it, we first of all have to import it from random import choice. And then inside of choice, we want to get one item 
from the available positions. All we have to figure out now is how to get all of the cells, excluding the body parts of the snake. That part is going to be your exercise. So effectively, what I want you guys to do is to use list comprehension to create a list with all of the available cells in the game and then filter out the body parts of the snake. Pause the video now and see if you can figure this one out. By the end of it, whenever we are creating a new apple, the apple position should be random and it can never land on the body of the snake. First of all, we want to create pygame.vector2 with an x and a y part. And after that, we will need two for loops, one for the columns and one for the rows, which we can do with for x in range cults and then for y in range rows. With that, we would literally get every single cell in the game, which means if I now run main.py, we are getting random positions. So that works perfectly fine. Except now we have a small chance to land on the body of the snake. Now this is going to be a bit difficult to visualize because the numbers are random. I'm kind of hoping I get one, but it's probably not going to happen. Okay, anyway, technically it is possible to land on the snake. So we have to account for that. And the way you would be doing that is with an if statement inside of the list comprehension. Basically what we want to check is if pygame.vector2 with x and y, and I am running out of space. So let me put all of this on the next line. I only want to do all of that if a vector2 with x and y, so the same thing we are creating for this loop, is not in self.snake.body. With that, if I run main.py, we still get the same result, but now the apple should never be able to land on the snake. Once again, very difficult to visualize. I suppose what we could be doing, if I print the length of the available positions and run main.py again, we get 157. These are all the possible cells the apple could land on. However, if I get rid of this if statement and run main.py again, we get 160, which means because of this if statement, we have removed three items from the list which are the positions of the snake body. With that, we have covered another important part of the game. So next up, we can work on the movement.